Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Ellen. Welcome to Johnny Benny Campus News, CSB SJU's weekly news show filling you in with what's going on around campus. First up on tonight's show, we go straight to Rachel Radin with sports. Thanks, Lauren and Ellen. I'm Rachel Radin with this week's Sports Roundup on Johnny Benny Campus News. Blazer basketball started their season off strong as they picked up a big non-conference win last Saturday, defeating the University of Wisconsin Stout 69-64. Junior Annie Dipburner led CSB with 14 points, and sophomore Nikki Falken finished the night with a double-double, earning 10 points and 11 rebounds. The Blazers will be back on the court tonight to take on Crown College and on Sunday to face St. Mary's. Both games are at home in Clareland's gym. Tonight's tip-off is at 7 p.m. and Sunday's game starts at 3 p.m. Blazer Hockey also has a busy weekend ahead as they travel to St. Paul tonight for game one of a doubleheader against Hamlin. Last year, St. Ben split their series with the Pipers, but this weekend the Blazers are looking to take both games to bring their conference record to 2-2. Two two. Tonight's away game starts at 7 p.m., but tomorrow the Blazers will be back on home ice for game two against the Pipers. The puck will drop at 3 p.m. at the MAC in St. Cloud. St. Ben's Swim and Dive wraps up its season this weekend when it hosts two dual conference meets. The Blazers will take on St. Kate's tonight at 5 p.m. and St. Thomas tomorrow morning at 8.30. Both meets are at the Warner Palestra Pool at SJU. St. John's football is getting ready to start postseason play as they host Dubuque of Iowa tomorrow in the first round of playoffs. The Johnnies faced the Spartans earlier this year in their season opener, winning 45-9. If the Johnnies win tomorrow, they will go on to play the winner of St. Thomas and Laverne in the second round on November 28th. Kickoff for tomorrow's game is scheduled for noon at Clemens Stadium here in Collegeville. Last, but certainly not least, St. John senior Tommy Feisinger will compete in the 2015 NCAA Division III Cross Country Championship at noon tomorrow in Wisconsin. Tommy earned all region honors and a trip to the NCAA Division III Championship for the second consecutive season with an eighth place finish out of 198 runners at the NCAA Central Regional last Saturday in Pella, Iowa. We wish Tommy the best of luck in tomorrow's race. That's all for this week's Sports Roundup. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Rachel Radin for Johnny Benny Campus News. Back to you, Lauren and Ellen. Thanks, Rachel. Good luck to all student athletes competing this weekend. In spirit of Thanksgiving, remember to pick up some items to donate for Operation Christmas Child and Toys for Tots. And now for tonight's five things. One. On Friday, November 20th, go to the Hunger and Homelessness Benefit Concert in Brother Willie's Pub. There is a suggested donation of $5 or a non-perishable food item. Doors will open at 8.30 p.m. and the show begins at 9 o'clock. Two, also on Friday night is Johnny Benny Feud at 8 p.m. in Alum Hall. Teams had to pre-register, but what a cool event to go to and watch. Three, the annual Festival of Cultures is on Saturday, November 21st from 5 to 8 in the HCC Fieldhouse. This is a popular student event that celebrates and recognizes the diversity at both St. Ben's and St. John's through student performances, cultural food sampling, and a fashion show. The CSB Holiday Dinner is on Wednesday, December 9th in Gretzky. Tickets will be sold on December 3rd and 4th in Gretzky Fireside. Students must pick up their ticket in person with their ID. Watch your emails for more details. Five. The 16th Annual Snowflake Shuffle 5K is on Saturday, December 5th at 9.30 a.m. Students and faculty can pre-register through the campus mail or at the HCC to save $5. You can also register the day of the race. That's all for tonight's news. I'm Lauren. And I'm Ellen. See you next week, Bennies and Johnnies. <laughs>